right, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at total bilirubin. Bilirubin is a marker that we used to look at liver dysfunction or liver function. And the normal value for uh, total bilirubin is going to be 0 0.1 to 1.2 milligrams per deciliter, and it's going to be often measured with direct bilirubin. But in order to understand why we measure it, we need to see how it works. So we have all these millions and millions of the red blood cells in our body, and when they're broken down, uh, they are... Uh, Part of that breakdown means that that heme or the iron containing compound that needs to be broken down further and that is facilitated um, by bilirubin and bilirubin comes in two forms you have conjugated and unconjugated and what these the difference between these two is that conjugated uh, bilirubin is water or soluble so that means that it's picked up by water and it's kicked out via the gi tract but unconjugated bilirubin is not uh, water soluble so what happens is it has to be transported to the liver and is converted to conjugated bilirubin. And then it's excreted by the GI tract. And what happens is your patients that have liver dysfunction, this process doesn't happen. And because it doesn't happen, you have this increase, this accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin, that means your bilirubin goes up. And what happens is you're gonna see patients start to demonstrate some, some uh, signs of this, and you're gonna see it typically in two ways, jaundice or a yellowing of the skin, or ictris, which is a uh, yellowing of the sclera or the white portion of the eye. So if you see this, you're gonna have this increase in this billy, and we need to figure out why it's happening. So we need to take a look at our closer, uh, take a closer look at our patients that have that high bilirubin. We need to see what's going on with their liver. Bilirubin is going to be typically included with your uh, liver function test or some other chems, but you're going to send this off to the lab with the green top tube. With your patients that have elevated total bilirubin, you're going to suspect some sort of liver disease. So whether it's alcoholic cirrhosis, some sort of viral or infectious hepatitis, they could have a liver tumor. Uh, also look at the cause, um, the cause being some sort of gallbladder. So maybe some issues with the... Uh, cholecystitis or potential biliary obstruction. Remember that um, the heme is attached to your red blood cells. So if you have this increased destruction of the red blood cells and we can't keep up with uh, the bilirubin can't keep up with breaking that heme down, you're going to have this increase in your total bilirubin as well. So excessive hemolysis, like an autoimmune disease that's causing that shearing or an excessive breakdown of those, that's going to increase that. Most commonly, you're going to see this in uh, newborns, though. Newborns lack the ability to break bilirubin down like they should. So what we do is we use this therapy called phototherapy. And phototherapy means that we're using light to break down the bilirubin because bilirubin is ex extremely susceptible to light. So we, we put our patients under, under this uh, specialized light, and it helps to break that down. And it's non-invasive. It's safe for the patient. But this is one of the most common therapies for that buildup for those newborns. So decreased bilirubin levels are are typically what you want. Um, and they're usually ideal. And you're rarely going to see a bilirubin, a total bilirubin less than 0 0.1. It's just not very common. So if you do, don't be alarmed. That's a that that's something that we kind of expect because we want that to be, uh, we want to know that our liver is doing its job in, in getting all that excess, excessive bilirubin out. So when we're looking at total bilirubin, when we look at our lab values, we're also looking at gastrointestinal and liver metabolism when we're uh, checking out our total bilirubin. All right, so let's recap. Our normal values for bilirubin are going to total bilirubin are going to be 0 0.1 to 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. And remember that total bilirubin is and bilirubin is involved in the breakdown of heme, that iron uh, containing a component of the res those red blood cells, and is processed in the liver and then is kicked out via the GI tract you're going to have bilirubin accumulation, which is what we're most concerned about when there's a problem with the system, particularly the liver, or if you have an excessive breakdown of those red blood cells, like an autoimmune disease. And bilirubin is very sensitive to light. So your patients that have neonatal or newborn jaundice, you're gonna use phototherapy to treat it. So that's it for our lesson on total bilirubin. Make sure you check out all the resources attached to this lesson. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing.